Ladies, and today we're doing my January 2017 Wired Chronicles unboxing. If you don't know what the Wired Chronicles is, it's a book subscription box based in Australia. You get one book and two to five items based around the theme. I don't remember them because I'm usually far behind in terms of getting these out. Costing wise, currently, I think until April, where the prices are going to be increasing. Currently, I'm paying 40 bucks, including shipping, for this box. If you're international, it's $29.99 plus $24.99 for shipping. That's all in Australian, though, so wherever you're from, exchange it. Voila, that's how much it costs you. Now, I did mention that the prices are going up in April or at the end of April. Basically, prices are going up. I think they're just trying to help cover shipping costs or at least make things cheaper for those internationally and maybe include an extra item or something in the box. But their link to their actual website is down below. Love this box. I've said it many times. It is my favorite, favorite box. So let's open it up and see what was in January. So that's what is in the January box. I actually partially remember reading something about this. The January box was a special box because it actually had an extra book in it. So the first one, the actual book for the box is A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Kluwitz. I'm Henrietta Howell, the first female sorcerer in ages of prophesized one, or am I? Henrietta can burst into flames, forced to reveal her power to save her friend. She's shocked when instead of being executed, she's invited to trade with one of Her Majesty's royal sorcerers. Thrust into the glamour of Victorian London, Henrietta is declared the girl who would defeat the ancients, bloodthirsty demons terrorizing humanity. Her fellow trainees are handsome young men eager to test her power in her heart. One will challenge her, one will fight for her, one will betray her. But Henrietta Howell is not the chosen one. As she plays a dangerous game of she discovers the sorcerers have their own secrets to protect. With battle looming, how much will she risk to save the city and the one she loves? So that sounds fairly interesting. Um, seeing it, wasn't tempted to buy it, but now that I have it, of course I'm going to read it. <laughs> then, of course, we have this book. And this is the super proof for Penguin Teen Australia. I've never seen one of these before. This is so cool! Ah, it kind of gives you an idea of when to expect the books too. So we'll check out the rest of the items. Oh wow, oh wow, we have some awesome prints. This is really cool. So they're prints, tales fantastic. I feel like I'm looking at something perhaps Studio Ghibli or Ghibli, what do you want to say, Studio Ghibli might do. But yeah, so they're the prints. Right hand side, a dragon with a woman underneath the bridge. And then on this one, we've got a giant robot, <laughs> I imagine. They're very classic kind of drawings. I mean, I love purple and so now it's a purple dragon that just suits me just fine it reminds me of something Lapita Castle in the Sky I feel like that's what I see with this one I think this is advertising for another book it's a really big print I don't know as Tabas or US Tabas or Ag Tabas I can't the writing is far too cursive for me Schwab's a darker shade of magic we have a ring uh, oh we have Sauron's ring okay I already have one of these so I'm probably going to see if I can re-gift this to someone else oh wow this is gorgeous okay and then we have a bookmark and it is of the Raven Cycle by Maggie I can never say her last name Steve Atta. a friend of mine who is probably going to watch this loves the Raven Cycle and she did get me to read it and I love it too. This is from Behind the Pages so you can check them out www.behindthepages.com. I'll link them down below anyway but seriously this is beautiful. I love this kind of detailed -ish art. I'm not creative enough to do anything like this. Then we have a very lovely looking uh, bookmark for this one and it's volume 17 did someone say fantasy so I totally get it with the whole magic kind of stuff. That makes a lot of sense, but God, it's pretty. This is such a pretty color. Okay, and then of course we have a card. The Superproof contains extracts from 14 upcoming uh, releases for this year. Lord of the Rings, the ring, because how could you not have something that's not from the most epic fantasy tale ever told? Roman Cycle, use it to mark your page or just admire the pretty. <laughs> that guy could totally do that. And then we love Miss Fee's Art on Society 6. Darkest Shade of Magic print. Oh, so it is an actual print. My apologies. We're not sure if you've heard, but Tales Fantastic creates some of the most beautiful illustrations in existence. We've included two prints from her amazing collection for your eyes to enjoy. Princess and the Dragon and Robot Walk. It's a good box. It's probably not my favorite, of course, but I really love the colors they've chosen. The art prints are a good inclusion, although having two sets of prints from two different people, I feel like they should have spaced that over a different 
box maybe somewhere else down the line and given us something else instead I don't know just ideas whatever if you're interested in getting your hands on the box again I have linked everything down below including their Twitter where they do post more information about the updates to their prices please hit that like share and subscribe button if it takes your fancy otherwise until next time you guys take care of yourself and Cooper out